being well educated is really important in this industry because it will be your advantage. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tatiana and I mostly post videos about fashion photography, modeling and lifestyle. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more. I post a lot of videos about this industry and everything related. Again, being well educated is extremely important because it will give you some advantage when it comes to finding the perfect agency for you, applying to different agencies, different markets and uh, finding your niche in general. You will find out how to work freelance, what chances you have and yeah, it will give you a boost in your career and a quick start. I will be talking about modeling industry and fashion industry in general. Of course, there are some exceptions and we will be talking about it in the end of this video. So you would have some knowledge of um, general requirements, what types of look agencies are looking for, what are the age, height and measurement requirements and everything like that. So let's start with the standard measurements. What you should look like, how skinny you should be, what should be your weight, your height and everything. I will talk mostly about women and I will say a few words I guess about the guys. So please do some extra research or let me know if you would like me to film another video about the men models. So talking about women, the perfect high would be something between 175 to 180. So the good is I guess 178, 79 or something like that. It will allow you to work in Europe and US and all of the primary markets. If you would like to know more about the markets, I have another video about it where I'm talking about everything. So please check it out. I will leave all of the links in the description box and maybe somewhere here. <laughs> And for guys, the perfect high is something between 185 to 195. I guess the uh, best is uh, 188 and you will be able to work worldwide with this high. Talking about the measurements, uh, maybe you've heard about the ideal measurements like 90, 60, 90 centimeters, especially everyone have been talking about it like 10 or 12 years ago and somehow there's, there's this myth in the industry that the model should be like this still, but you know, in reality, you probably won't find the models with <laughs> these measurements and uh, if you'll find the model with a bust like 90 it's very rare and probably she will be working for some lingerie brands and underwear brands and everything like that but usually the measurements um, for the bust are between 85 to 90 and the most common is like 87, 88 and it can be less than this and it's okay. Um, the waist is around 57, 58 to 60, sometimes 61 is okay as well. D again depending on the markets where the model is going to work but in general 59 would be great and when it comes to hips it's the most problematic zone especially when the model gets older it's really hard to be in this measurements and the perfect would be 88 89 and 90 is okay too but depending on the high and i would like to say few more words about it because I'm like telling you all of these random numbers and you may have no idea why 
why you need exactly these numbers. There's this thing and I would say it's like a rule. If you know about it, you will be able to figure out what measurements you should have to be successful in modeling. Okay, the rule is basically about if uh, you're higher, if your high is <laughs> high, um, I'm sorry for my English, <laughs> just in case, you can have slightly bigger measurements, not bigger than 90, 60, 90, as I've mentioned before, but they can be like 89, 98, uh, 59 to 60, and 89 to 90, something like that. Like if your high is 178 to 180, for example. And if you're not that tall, and especially if you're going to work in Asian market, you have to be thinner and your measurements have to be smaller. Like the shorter you are, the skinnier you should be. You may ask me why, just because on the photos you will look taller. And in general, you will look taller even if you're not that tall, but you're skinny. So if you're not so tall, like 175 and maybe below that, uh, you need to be quite skinny. That's a cruel reality. <laughs> and again, there are some exceptions depending on the markets and everything, and I will tell you about it later, so please stay tuned. Let's talk about the age. Generally, models start around 16 to 18, but uh, for the Asian market, they can start earlier, like 13 or 14. But in Europe and all of the primary markets are mostly for the 16 years old and above. You know, the industry is changing and we even have so many plus size models right now so much diversity which is good and many models are starting at the age of 20 and above in their 20s and yeah that's really good and you can start later just you have to look really good and you have to be in these measurements that the industry requires so take your chances try and start i believe in you just be objective when it comes to your look and everything So talking about the guys, they usually start a little bit later, maybe 16 or 18 or in their 20s and they can also work a little bit longer than the girls. Of course there are senior models, but I'm talking about the industry in general. So the guys can start later and work longer, so I guess it's really good for them in this case but there are so many pros and cons when it comes to male modeling as well so it's really controversial i guess And talking about the required measurements for guys, it's, it's something between 73 to 81 centimeter when it comes to the waist and the chest should be something between 99 to 101 centimeters. But again, depending on the market, just please do the research and often modeling agencies post all of their requirements for models, the age, the measurements and everything on their website, so please check them out, remember about it. Oh, and I'm so excited to talk to you about the weight. Well, I don't know why everyone is so obsessed about the weight and I got so many DMs when people asking me how much I should weigh and everything like that and it's ridiculous actually because you know what, it doesn't matter what's your weight, how much you weigh, it's just 
really unnecessary information when it comes to the agencies as well because you just need to fit into these measurements. If your measurements are okay, it doesn't matter how much you weigh. It really not. So please calm down and don't worry about your weight. You need to only worry about your measurements and everything will be okay. And let's talk about the types of looks the agencies are most interested in. When it comes to primary markets, it mostly edgy, strong features and um, it will be your like advantage <laughs> if you have such features and you have the right height if you're tall and uh, like a st have a strong face, it's really, really good. When it's come to more commercial modeling, the agencies are usually looking for classic looks, really beautiful faces, uh, very commercial. Yes, and the Asian market is mostly for baby faces. If you have a baby face or classic look or edgy features, you can work in any of these markets, but there are some pros and cons when you have certain looks. So the agency will educate you what will work best for you. Just you need to know that if you have edgy and strong features, you most, most likely can be working as a runway model and you can work everywhere. And baby faces that aren't so tall most likely will be working in Asian market. Here we come to the industry exceptions and how you can get in even if you're not so tall and if you have slightly different measurements um, from the industry standards. Yeah, there are commercial and runway models. When we're talking about the commercial models, it's more like TVC or some catalogs or some works where clients are looking for more realistically looking people. So you can be not that tall or not that young <laughs> and everything like that. And in this case, you need to look for smaller boutique agencies who are mostly specialized in commercial modeling and commercial jobs. And if you don't wanna be signed with an agency, you can try working freelance and meet as many people as you can and collaborate with everyone and build your client database and start your career in this way. The other exceptions might be if, for example, your hips are around 92, 95 or something like that, you can work in such markets as India and Turkey, United Arab Emirates, but keep in mind that all of these markets are, aren't that strong, I would say. UAE is okay, but India is, I guess it's very, not that good market in my opinion. Another exception, you can be not that tall if you're planning to work in Asia and if you're really young, like 13 or 14 years old, you can start working in China, Japan, Taiwan, South Korea and other countries. So yeah, if you're not so tall and you're really skinny, you can take your chances. Or if you're 13 and you would like to start your career right now and your parents are supporting you, which is really important, you can start working in Asian market and then start working in primary markets. It's a great option. The industry has been changing so quickly last years and it gives you so many opportunities. There are plus size models, uh, curve divisions uh, in almost every agency, which is really great. So if you look beautiful and you have good proportions of body of your body, you can try working as a curve model. It is another whole 
field, I would say so, and you can try yourself out there. And uh, there are influencers, again, this is another niche. And influencers don't have to fit into any measurements. I guess you figure out what I mean. <laughs> you have so many chances and you can try them out if it's your passion or if you're just curious about it, you can always start. Again, thank you so much for watching. I guess that's it for today. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. It will help me a lot. And I would like to hear your experience. Are you working as a model? Are you interested in it? And maybe you have some tips and have something to add. I would like to hear from you. Bye guys.